Do the L one? Yeah. This is a song that I am very moved by. We recorded this about eight or nine years ago in the Bridge of Don in Aberdeen from a traveling woman called Maria Robertson. Under very unusual circumstances, we were chasing a song. And we'd been chasing it for about three days through Perthshire, Murrayshire, Bamshire, and Aberdeenshire. And on this particular day, we'd called at the house of a traveling woman called Wilhelmina McAllister. And she'd taken Peggy off and Bell Stewart, a traveling woman who was traveling with us, looking for the woman who was supposed to have the song we were looking for, which was that piece that I sang earlier, The Swan Swims the Bonio. And so Wilhelmina, because she was very hospitable and didn't want to feel that I was being left in the lurch, she asked her next door neighbor to come and sit with me. And this was Maria Robertson, this young traveling lady. And she sat there in the corner with her head down, terribly embarrassed. And I was a bit too. So after a bit, I said, do you know any old songs? No. <laughs> Long silence. Are you sure you don't know any old songs? No. And then she, the silence became so pregnant you could feel it. You know, it was like a boil that was about to burst and suddenly an absolute kind of terror almost at the moment. She said, well, I can yen. And she sang a version of Lord Randall right through a long version. So that was marvelous. Do you know any more? No. And the whole process started again until the, the boil of silence grew to bursting. And she says, well, he's another. <laughs> and she sang the Dewey Dens of Yarrow, another long ballad. And the same thing happened after that. And she sang five ballads in all at the end of it. And then she sang this absolutely beautiful little piece called The Alewife, The Drunken Wife. It's an absolute gem. And from a collector's point of view, it's even more of a gem because it's not been collected as far as we've been able to gather since about 1755. And there it was, still living in the tradition in this big block of apartments in the middle of Aberdeen. I'm going to teach you the chorus. It's a, a man has got a wife who's a drunkard, but he sings with great tenderness and compassion about it. And the chorus goes, The ale wife, the drunken wife, the alewife, she deeps me. My wifey, we her badly. She'll ruin and she'll leave me. The alewife, the drunken wife. The alewife, she deaves me. D-E-A-V-E-S. She worries me. She harasses me. The alewife, she deaves me. My wifey, we her barley, with her battle, she'll ruin and she'll leave me. I'll sing a line and you give me back. You needn't belt this out, but just sing it for the sheer joy of singing. The alewife, the drunken wife. The alewife, the drunken wife. The alewife, she deaves me. The alewife, she deaves me. My wifey, we her badly. My wifey, we her badly. She'll ruin and she'll leave me. She'll ruin and she'll leave me. That was lovely. Let's do the whole thing. The alewife, the drunken wife. The alewife, she deems me, my wifey, we her badly. She'll ruin and she'll leave me. She tacks her bottle on her back, her pint stoop in her hand, and she is tea the market gain. To talk up our stand. The alewife, the drunken wife. The alewife, she deaves me. My wifey, we her barley. She'll ruin and she'll leave me. 
And when that she comes him again, she'll wade through Gerson corn. Says a man, he another pint, though I should be the morn. The ale wife, the drunken wife, the ale wife, she deeps me. My wifey, we her barley. She'll ruin and she'll leave me. The ale wife, the drunken wife, Around the folks o' ken I canna leave my wifey Oot among the men The ale wife, the drunken wife The ale wife, she deeps me My wifey wi' her barley She'll ruin and she'll leave me. That was lovely.